Phelps, welcome to Vice. This is your new partner, Roy Earl. Take a seat. A special request was made to transfer you to add Vice. We need a man with your kind of starch on this desk, son. We have two dead Negroes found in an apartment this morning on Yucca Street. Number 6358, apartment 5. We got better things to be doing than wasting our time on two dead junkies. Did I ask your opinion, detective? Two men dead on U.S. Army issue morphine. That makes it an advice case. Beat it! Yes, sir. You and the lieutenant have some history? You could say that. We used to be partners. So, you're working with the big boys now, Cole? I guess so, Roy. I thought homicide was the primo assignment. That may be the case. I asked for you personally, Phelps. I had to pull a few strings to get you over to advice. How does it feel? The lieutenant seems to think I'm doing okay. Okay? <laughs> Don't get humble on me, Phelps. You're doing great. You're the department pinup boy. War hero and crime fighter. What a combination. I can assure you I'm no war hero, detective. I used to be in Let's rouse some hop heads. Now I'm not so sure. Nice car, Roy. Is it department issue? Take this right. No, it's my sled. You can't be seen slumming it in an ash if you're invited to have Meanwhile, we got needle freaks kissing a goodbye all over Central Avenue. God's name would eat us that hovel. They really picked a prize shithole for our first date. It's up the stairs, detectives. Around the corner, last door on the left. Wrinkle was not one of the I'm all done. <laughs> show now. Carruthers. Phelps? I've been reassigned to advice. What have we got? Two stiffs. Overdosed. Been dead a couple of days. Government issue morphine? We use the same surettes in Okinawa. Fucking Negro junkies can't take supply this pure. You know these guys? I know of them. The younger one's a two-bit horn player by the name of Cornell Tyree. The other one works in distribution. Started using a little too much of his own product, and Jack D took exception. He wasn't born that ugly. His name's Lamont. Tyrone Lamont. So who's supplying the drugs? That's easy. Whoever knocked off the wharves in San Pedro. Jack Dragna, Mickey Cohen. Dope's been all upside down ever since Jimmy Utley started the long walk at Quentin. You talk about it like it's a system. It was a system. But those days are long gone. We are supposed to uphold the law. Yeah, and we do. But we can't change people. The truth is, everyone wants the license to get a little dirty now and then. Our job is to keep it manageable. That's how you see it? See it any other way, and you better forget about being a vice cop. Can we get on with this today, preferably? jolt and drifted off, and I suppose his friend wasn't in any condition to notice that he had stopped breathing. One Surrette is enough to knock you out for combat trauma. Two of them will stop your heart. Never the same, brother. They say only the good die young. I hope it was true in your case.
These clowns lived on popcorn? Must have been messy eaters. It's all over the floor. It was JJ. Now why do these two care about his taste in music? Small chance in life is probably better than no chance. Black Caesar. From the joint across the street. Looks like something was taped to the bottom of the cup. Anything interesting? What's that? That's the lemon wash whistle. That means right. Let's wrap this up before I actually have to work overtime instead of just claim for it. You're a true inspiration to us all, Roy. Help you? Detectives Phelps and Durrell, LAPD. We're inquiring into the death. Hand over the popcorn numbskull before we kick the door in. Get that son of a bitch!
the hell going on here? Morgan! Not you? You picked the wrong cop, you fucking animals. You. What's your name? Morgan. Half an answer is no answer to me, asshole. Fleetwood Morgan. Keep an eye on him, Roy, while I take a look around. Keep very still, Fleetwood. Don't give me an excuse to shoot you. Might not be filling, but I'm sure it's satisfying. These number slips might affect your tone, Fleet. Stamped on the reverse by the issuer. Maybe Morgan can give us something on this Jones character. About time we heard what Cleve would hear us to say, Cole. We're inquiring about the deaths of two men in an apartment across the street, Fleetwood. We want answers. Of course. I'll do my best, mister. You sold the drugs to Cornell Tyree and Tyrone Lamont. Oh, I sell... I, I sell fried steaks and, 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 and black-eyed peas. You're lying, Fleetwood. We know that you supplied them. I don't know nothing about no drugs. All I do is my ten hair flipping burgers. Can you prove any different? Flipping burgers and strapping jolts of morphine to the bottom of popcorn cups, Fleetwood. Now, I want the truth. Who supplies the drugs? Cat by the name of Armstrong Edwards. All right, he brings the stuff around about once a day. I know Armstrong. He's a two-bound, strictly small time. Who's he working for, Fleetwood? Jermaine Jones. We have you for the hop and resisting arrest. Tell us about the numbers if you want our help. Look, the numbers are the white man's tax on poor folk. All right, now, now what else you want to know? We have an address on the slips. We're going to go down there now and rat you out, Fleetwood. Tell whoever it is that you rolled over and gave them up. No, 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 no. Look, I, I've been cooperative, okay? Now, you got to help me some. Fleetwood, I'm going to speak personally to the judge on your behalf. A name, Fleetwood. Well, he's, he's a real slick dude. Wears a hat and swings a cane. Goes by the name of Merlin. All right, I ain't got a last name. See you at the station, Fleetwood. Wait, you're gonna help me, right? Of course, kid. You helped us out. And we always like to repay a favor. Can you see that Fleetwood gets a nice cell, Wallace? One with a window and a nice fresh pillow. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. This guy's got a screw loose. Phelps, batch 1247. How can I help, detective? I need an address on a Jermaine Jones musical booking agency. Just a moment, detective. Jermaine Jones. The office is listed as 5528 Santa Monica Boulevard. Thank you. Isn't that the cop who solved the big case and got promoted? What the hell?
caught the big fish. And look how much good it did your career. All units in the vicinity and any central unit. Citizen reports are 415 at 7th and Central. Unit to handle code 2, identify. and freedom. Make sure Look at this place. I'm guessing not much talent comes out of this talent agency. Here we are. Jermaine Jones, 238. you in. Jermaine Jones. Don't bother getting up. Your flunky Fleetwood Morgan just snitched you out. I wasn't planning to. Now you think you could tell me who the hell you are? LAPD. We'd like to take a look around. The hell you will, motherfucker. You carrying a warrant? No, do we need one? Search the place, Cole. What do you think you're gonna find, policeman? Scott Phantom? Fine radio. Shortwave, AM and FM. My father has a Scott. You ain't allowed to do this. I got rights.
so we make you for all of it. You're the fall guy from Mickey Cohen. In case you haven't noticed, I'm a colored man. You see any Jew boys running around here? I collect my cut. Lenny the Fink controls the action. Lenny who? Lenny Finkelstein, Mickey's dipshit brother. That's all. So when we visit Rama's removals and tell them that we want a special bookcase or wardrobe to hide our dope in, they're going to be copacetic. And when we tell them their good friend Jermaine sent us and said they could do a nice deal for the LAPD, I could use. Getting the picture? Take them all in. We have a deal, right? We're after the morphine. I'll speak to the DA on your behalf. You have my word. Phelps badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? I need an address for Ramez Removals. That's Ramez. R-A-M-E-Z. Just checking. Ramez Removals, corner Sunset and Wilton. Owned by a Jose Victor Ramez. Thanks for your help. That's the cop from the new <laughs> So Mickey Cohen or Jack Dragna stole the army's surplus morphine, and they are selling it on the streets? Looks that way. But the mob wants returned customers, not corpses. Why haven't they cut the morphine? Good question, Detective. This robbery happened months ago, right? The beginning of the year. So why are the proceeds suddenly opening up now? Another good question. But where does it get us? It's like asking questions in the middle of the movie. If you just sit tight and keep your yap shut, you'll find out what happens. We need to follow the evidence. One unit in the vicinity of 211 in progress and third in Union. Stand by for further unit to handle identifying. Turn left when you can.
Detectives Phelps and Durrell, LAPD. The name's Marilyn Oney. I run a strictly legitimate bookmaker's detective. So that's not an illegal wire service that your colleagues are running? And the number slips that I've been picking up all morning with this address on them have nothing to do with you? I'll pay my kick to the Watts, and they pay their cut to the LAPD. You can't go shaking me down. You're a loudmouth motherfucker, aren't you? Anyone ever tell you the criminals are supposed to keep their mouths shut? Stay where you are while we look around. This quantity, we're looking at a high-level trafficking charge. Thanks for the paper trail, Merlin. I think Ramez's place is our next stop. Well, that's quite a win for a dime, Merlin. You better God start talking. damn it. Get after him, Phelps. Give it up, Adi. or I will shoot. Lock him up and if you get him, what? give him one for me, detective. What are you trying to do, Merlin? Relax, motherfucker, you got me. Nice one, Merlin. Too bad you couldn't pull off your vanishing act. Make your joke, smart guy, but don't damage that. That there's a valuable antique. You don't say. Maybe you ought to have a look at this, Cole. Adi has Jose Ramez in his pocket. Ramez must have forgotten his lucky numbers. Would you like to calculate the odds on you going to prison for a very long time, Merlin? I'm not going nowhere. I've paid my contributions, and I'm not getting hustled by you. We're only interested in morphine. Army surplus morphine. What do you have to say about that? I heard about that. Big robbery on the ship. Ain't my line of work. I prefer something with a sporting outcome. You distribute for Lenny Finkelstein. You're a patsy for those gangsters. I don't know what you're talking about. I distribute for the LAPD, motherfucker. Jermaine Jones gave you up as a supplier. He says that you're Lenny's sissy, and that you'll do whatever Lenny tells you. Me? That nigga's a dead man. I moved the dope Jose brings me. Jose Ramirez, I ran a clean numbers racket until those two motherfuckers went into the dope business. 
Ramez seems to owe you a lot of money. We all owe somebody. So it has nothing to do with the proceeds of the morphine shipment? It's a gambling debt. The heaps took over the wise service and screwed me. Now I just do what I'm told. Run numbers and ship dope. Jose's no different. He just thinks he's a big man that can run up tabs. You're not the guy we want, Merlin. But we're taking you in. Maybe some time in a cell will help you remember something worthwhile. Fuck you, and fuck you. You'll never put a charge on me. Take this bum in. Take the long way around. And don't be gentle with him. You got that? Yes, sir. Runs the dope rackets? Mickey does what he's told. Benny Siegel will take a cut of any action that's going. I thought Jack Dragna was there. Dragna's an old-time greaser. He keeps his head down and pays his dues. Word is he's gonna clip Bugsy. Whose word? What does it matter? One lowlife killing another. LAPD, we're here to see Jose Ramez. What's it about? Routine inquiries, sir. Can you tell us where we can find him? We missed him. He was in the delivery truck, just went out. God damn it. <laughs> 11K calling KGPL. Let's go ahead, 11K. 11K requesting it's in pursuit of narcotic suspects aboard a GM delivery truck. Commercial license, David Charles, 457. Roger, let me get What is this movie to think he's doing? Get him close and steer him off the tar. Here comes the cavalry. We're not playing around here. Take this clown off the road. Holy shit, that was close. No good, we need to get closer. Hit him, Cole, spin him out. He's going left onto Hollywood. Get alongside him and take him out. Keep it steady and I'll try to bust his tires. Hit him, clear this asshole off the road. That's it, Cole, you did it, it's truck's history. Pull him out of there. Give it up, LAPD. Jose Ramez, you're being arrested on suspicion of supplying illegal drugs, resisting arrest, and for malicious damage to LAPD property. Hey, hold your horses. I supply furniture, not drugs. And that thing back there, that was an accident. Some furniture came loose. That's all. Save it for the DA, Chico. Keep an eye on him. We're gonna take a look around inside. Where's he been delivering? And who's been delivering here? Any repeat business in the ledger, Cole? Why is Ramez buying so much ice? Well, Anadi is buying a lot of furniture.
Couldn't you think anywhere else to meet, kid? We like to choose our ground. What is that supposed to mean? Huh? It's something Wellington said at Waterloo. The guys who win normally choose where to fight. Are we gonna fight, kid? The two of you versus my boys here? I love the fight game. I went a few rounds myself. You and your friend, uh, he looks tough, but uh, I don't like your chances. Nah. We don't have to fight, Mr. Cohen. We have you an infilate. What the fuck is that? Some kind of stake? It means my men are in cover, but that they can still shoot you. If those were my orders, you would all be dead now. Are you kidding me? This is a $200 coat. You got some balls. Kelso. I hope you didn't scratch the paint of my new Lincoln. Mm -mm. These guys are getting out of the dope business, Mr. Cohen. You'll have no more problems from them. The morphine is going to disappear back into the sea. Hang on. You're getting hasty. There's a lot of dough on offer here. Thanks for the offer, Mr. Cohen, but we are going to have to politely decline. After today, the morphine is no more. This isn't the way we normally do business. I'm aware of that, Mr. Cohen. Call me Mickey. Are you aware of the risk, huh? I'm giving it to you straight, Mr. Cohen. There will be no more morphine. We made a mistake and would like to back out gracefully. If you come after us, we will be forced to come after you. You've been polite up till now. So don't stop making threats. I don't make threats, Mr. Cohen. I'd like to thank you for your time. Is that guy your idea, muscle kid? <laughs> There's something you should know about Jack, Mr. Cohen. He kills six Japs hand to hand with just a bayonet and a K-bar knife. His outfit, the six Marines, killed over 100,000 Japs in three months in Okinawa, and he was in the thick of it. Those Japs are little guys, right? Yes, Mr. Cohen. About your size. What's with the puddle? Where's that trail of water coming from, Cole? There must be a way through the back. Welcome to Furniture Village, where taste comes to die. What a pile of junk. My mother would be in heaven. I bet this is the kind of crap you love, Cole. 20 years out of fashion. Smells of old people in here. This is useless. I can't see a damn thing. You need to get up onto the floor above. There's a cold room in the back. I think we know where the water's coming from. You're gonna wanna see this. There's something frozen inside. Well, I'll be damned. This must be how they 
transport the morphine. LAPD, leave it right there. Everyone out of the vehicle and put your hands up. There's something in the ice. He's making a run for it. Let him have it. You're covered, Phelps. Take them all to Hollywood Station. Have the ME and tech services go over this place. Where will you be? Hunting polar bear. Is Audi serious? Is the LAPD turning a blind eye to narcotics? Keep your shirt on, Phelps. Drugs are prohibited. Doesn't mean people don't want to take them. Limiting supply doesn't mean that we have limited demand. I understand that. I know that the average Joe needs his one wine. Let his hair down again. Morphine? Heroin? It's important to demonize Hop Phelps. It looks good in the papers. But when all is said and done, it's just another chemical like booze. A lot of people in high places think we're doing the city a favor by keeping the dope rolling into Central Avenue. Donnelly certainly believes we need to keep them anesthetized. Better jobs and opportunities would go a lot further. Will you listen to yourself? years. How much call for ice anymore with all those newfangled refrigerators? Save it for someone who wants to hear it. How many janitors carry a gat? That's one way of announcing we're here. Give it up, Finkelstein. Your brother-in-law will get you a good lawyer. My brother-in-law hates my guts. Come and get me if you want some daylight for that suit of yours. It's open. It's around here somewhere. Throw out the guns. This one's got your name on it! I got you now, motherfucker! Here. What the hell is the matter? Did someone please just kill these assholes already? You're fucking home! Oh! Let's move! Weapons on the ground! Now! I'm wide open here! You'll I'll be the 
hold out. Push forward. You're surrounded, and your buddies are dead. Give me some goddamn cover. I'm gonna. They're all dead, Finkelstein. Leave the weapon and put your hands up now. Put my hands up? Sure. Then what? Cop the peddling the dope? Cut a deal? Ship me off to the queue? As soon as I get locked up, some old friend puts a, an ice pick above my ear? No thanks. Only one other way out, shit heel. Let's have a look around. Now that we finally got some peace and quiet. I think I've had enough ice for one day. This stuff has got to be worth at least a hundred grand. So Finkelstein robbed the ship? My guess is Lenny took it off their hands. This is big. This is gonna make the papers, Phelps. As senior investigator, I'll do the talking. Well, well. Who would have thought that Roy Earl's hand-picked new partner would have turned out to be such a great case man? This is a good result, Phelps. As far as we can tell, Lenny the Fink was moving the morphine across the city and as far north as Frisco. This makes the feds very happy, and it makes Mickey Cohen look bad. I won't lie to you, kid. I like the headlines. I like them a lot. You keep this squad in the papers, and we'll get along just fine. 